Pinocchio. Once upon a time, there was a poor woodcarver called Geppetto. He did not have any children of his own and was very lonely. One day, as Geppetto sat carving a piece of wood, he decided to make himself a puppet. Geppetto named his puppet Pinocchio. When Geppetto was carving Pinocchio, he noticed something strange. The cheeky puppet stuck out his tongue and laughed. Geppetto was so excited. At last, he would have a son. As Geppetto finished carving Pinocchio, the naughty puppet kicked Geppetto on the nose. He then jumped down and ran straight out of the door. Come back, Pinocchio, called Geppetto. Pinocchio was too excited to listen. Pinocchio ran straight into the arms of a police officer. The people passing by stopped and told the police officer that Geppetto was a mean man who would hurt the puppet. The police officer decided to let the puppet go and arrest Geppetto. Pinocchio went home and sat down. Just then, he heard a tiny voice coming from a talking cricket. Little boys who do not listen to their fathers are always sorry later, said the cricket. Pinocchio refused to listen. Soon Pinocchio began to get hungry and he looked around for something to eat. He found an egg and as he tried to cook it, a tiny chicken popped out. Oh well, thought Pinocchio, I'll just sleep here by the fire. The next day, Geppetto returned home to find Pinocchio sitting by the fire, without any feet. The fire had burned them off. Poor Pinocchio, said Geppetto. I shall make you some new feet buy you some new clothes and you can go to school just like a real boy. Geppetto was a poor man and had to sell his own coat to buy Pinocchio's school books. The next day Pinocchio set off for school and on the way he heard some music playing. He was so excited when he saw a travelling puppet show. The other puppets asked Pinocchio to join in the singing and dancing. Pinocchio jumped up and began to perform. The puppet master was not pleased, but he soon forgave him. The next day, the puppet master gave Pinocchio some gold coins and asked him to take them home to Geppetto. As Pinocchio set off, a cat and fox began talking to him. They were pretending to be blind and lame and wanted to steal Pinocchio's money. Pinocchio tried to run away, but they caught him and left him hanging on a tree. Poor Pinocchio was so sad. Suddenly, a beautiful blue fairy appeared and helped him down. The fairy asked Pinocchio to tell her what had happened. Of course, she knew about the gold coins. Naughty Pinocchio began to tell a lie. As he told the blue fairy that he had lost the gold coins, his nose began to grow longer and longer. The fairy laughed and told Pinocchio that this is what happens when you tell lies. Pinocchio was so sorry and promised never to lie again. He asked the Blue Fairy if he could ever become a real boy. She replied, yes, but only if you are good, kind and very brave. Pinocchio set off and once again the cat and fox appeared. This time they did steal his money. Pinocchio ran to a police officer and asked for help. The police
police officer locked him up in jail. In jail, Pinocchio heard that Geppetto was missing at sea. He had gone to look for Pinocchio and his ship had sunk in a storm. Pinocchio felt terrible and decided that he must be a good puppet. However, when Pinocchio was let out of jail, he met some bad boys. They asked him to run away to Toyland with them. Pinocchio joined them and soon found himself in trouble again. All the bad boys had been turned into donkeys and made to work in the circus. One day, Pinocchio hurt his leg and couldn't work anymore. He was thrown into the sea. As soon as he touched the water, he turned into a puppet again. As he sank to the bottom, an enormous fish swallowed him up. Pinocchio was surprised to find Geppetto inside, alive and well. Pinocchio decided that this time he would not be naughty but very brave. He led Geppetto to safety. The Blue Fairy was watching. The Blue Fairy said, You have been very kind and brave, Pinocchio. You deserve to have your dreams come true, she continued. Pinocchio suddenly changed into a real little boy. 